Well, hello and welcome to 5721 Broomhead Road in Williamsburg. This home is over 4,500 square feet and boasts six bedrooms and five baths. Let's take a peek. <laughs> Whether you're looking for an up north vacation property in a rental or a family home, this does have the best of both worlds. One of the cool things about this home is it was actually built in the early 1900s, um, but when the local mayor came to this area, the home was actually moved, but to a brand new foundation. So you've got the original um, carpentry and wood, the woodwork, um, along with a new foundation and updated mechanicals. And look, they had pocket doors before pocket doors were even cool. So in the original house, because again, that was new, this was actually the original kitchen. And so there's actually a spot on the floor right here that if you step there, you can kind of feel where the original lady was washing her dishes. You can feel that spot in the floor over there. So we're in the newer portion of the house, but they match the aesthetics of the rest of the home. But of course, now you have a very, very large kitchen and open um, with your, of course, eat-in little area for the nook. Um, but love the additional touches of the farmhouse sink and of course my favorite the stove which is super cute yeah I would bet you this was not a bedroom this home comes complete with a formal dining room and you can get all the furnishings if you'd like I love that it's cool um, built-ins built -ins. if you think about what what they went through to build this when it was being built I mean it's it's stunning carpentry so in this particular area of the home, we have three bedrooms that are clustered together with two full baths, two clawfoot tubs, and a shower. And don't forget about the incredible laundry room. It's large and it's on the same floor as most of the bedrooms. And where's your clean laundry go? And your bedrooms. Really? I'm relaxing. But who doesn't like a good clawfoot tub, right? I know I do. One of the really cool things about this home is it's currently zoned as a bed and breakfast. So the owners right now actually live in this portion of, of the house, which is the newer section. So this breezeway that we're standing in there, which is an incredible reading nook, actually goes into the other side of the house. So on this level, you actually have five bedrooms in total. Um, you've got one here that actually has a bathroom attached to it. And then we step into the actual mother-in-law suite, which is another one bedroom with a full suite kitchen area as well. If you bought it for a large family, you could live here. If you wanted to live in the mother-in-law suite and run out and do the Airbnb uh, bed and breakfast, you could. And if you want to buy it furnished, then you've got a turnkey bed and breakfast ready to go. Yeah, uh, you wouldn't have to do anything. I mean, down to Move the in. silverware, down to the bedding. I mean, you can literally walk in and be ready, ready to live with the bookings that we already have. Mm -hmm. As if there wasn't enough space on the main floor, you have this entire area to host. I just think this is such a cool space. I love the windows, the light, the billiards. Okay. And the bathroom, because who doesn't want to have to go down the stairs after they're playing pool? Whether you want to type your next murder mystery novel or play some <laughs> pool. <laughs> Here, when you think of this being, say, an up north retreat or an Airbnb, you can go either direction. So you've got Batasky, Charlevoix, Mackinac, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Or you've got the other side of town, which you've got the Traverse City and Sutton's Bay and the Dunes, but you're in the middle to be able to get, navigate both. And then obviously beaches galore no matter where you go, wherever you go. A lot of people would go Williamsburg, like that's not Traverse City, that's not your downtown area. Why is that so great? Well, the Equestrian Festival literally has this booked for the summer and into the fall. I mean, we haven't touched on that part of it, but the amount of people that come up for just the, the color, color tours tour. yeah. in the fall is huge. 